In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to the basic guide on how to use the new blue Tidler Pro within Corel Video Studio 2022. You can simply use the hundreds of templates that is provided, or if you wish, create your very own. Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me as you do. To begin, simply just grab anything and place it onto your timeline. I'm just using the black background. Go to the FX Filters, New Blue Title Pro. Click, drag it, and place it onto your clip. There's two ways we can access this. We can use the star option, left click, filter, New Blue Title Pro, or simply double click, Effects tabs, and customize filter here. And voila, you are now in the main interface. At first glance, it may look a little bit overwhelming, but I'm going to give you a quick tour to help you get started. This here is your preview window. This over here is your timeline. And over here, you have all your commands. Up here, we've got add text in case you want to add more text and add shape. Later on, I will give you a small demo on how easy it is to use. Everything in here can be moved simply by clicking and dragging. If you do find yourself accidentally doing this, go to view layout and go back to animated design and that brings you back to the default settings to get started there are three possible ways we can use the animation title section basically if you want to create motion within your text we use this setting the animated title you can also just use a still title where you just have the text no graphics no motions very simple and straightforward to use let's go back to the animated title or you can simply use one of the presets. Use the little arrow key here, it opens up a window, project templates. Each one of these folders contains a plethora of effects. Let's look at something like lower thirds. If you want to see a quick preview, simply move your mouse over, to, over the icon and it gives you a small demonstration. If you wish to use this, double click and it's now applied to your project. Later on, I will show you how easy it is to make all the right adjustments to suit your needs. Let's start by just changing the text. By moving the cursor over to the words, enter text, a little gray box will appear. Click it once and attribute panel will open up. I won't go through all of these. Again, this is a basic introduction. I just want you to get started. We can, however, change the font bold i'll take underline and then obviously obviously the separations this is quite standard in everything that you use with fonts let's get moving if i double click it you'll see an orange line i can backspace it for individual letters if i double click it again everything goes blue and i can simply type over this without deleting anything and i have now created my first text to change the font size i can simply go over to the attributes panel and type in the desired number or I can use these nodes here on the side. If I can highlight this by clicking and dragging, I can then move it to any size I want. While I'm doing this, if I press down the Alt key and I do it, it brings everything up at the same time, which is kind of cool. I can do the same thing with the side nodes here by moving it up and down, which elongates my text. But if I don't like that look, I can hold down the Shift key and it also brings up everything in unison. For some reason, if I have moved this off center and I wish to place it back into the center, we can simply use the alignment tools here, center into frame, and that puts it right back into the middle. The two icons at the top right hand corner are for rotation. If I use this little icon here, I can basically pivot it like so. And if I use this little icon here, I click on it once, it forms a circle. Anywhere in the circle, click and hold. And now I can rotate it or flip it to any direction that I want. If you do not like any of these looks or, if you, or you made a simple mistake, we have to go into the global tab right up here. And we just go position, undo, rotation, undo, and it brings you right back to the fault. If you wish to add extrusion to your tab, it's done relatively easy using the 3D controls. Extrusion, simply left click and hold here left or right just drag left or right which is increases or decreases the extrusions you may wish to add a bevel the exactly the same principles apply just click and drag and then you can see the text change if for some reason you don't like this instead of dragging it all the way back to the, to the left we can just double click and hit zero on the keyboard and that puts it right back to the fault same with the extrusion where i can just hit zero and it brings it right back to the default 
Also to note, if I want to change the color, I use the 3D face. I have the color tab highlighted, double click, and here I can use the color picker to change whatever I want. And I may also wish to add a gradient doing the exact same thing in the white square, double click, and now it gives me two colors to play with. Later on in some other videos, I will show you how you can add image or videos to your text. You may wish to add some shapes to your project. Simply use the add shape function, and I'm gonna choose rectangle. For the time being, I'm quickly gonna change this color to red so we can see what we're doing. And then again, I'm gonna place this in front of my text. I'm gonna readjust it so everything is covered. And all I need to do now is right click, arrange layers and send it to the back voila so now we have it like so and just like the text we can add extrusions to it so let's do that let's see if it's applied in there it is so simple if i wish to move the text and the shape together i can just click and drag anywhere in the preview window now i've got two binding boxes i can click and drag this anywhere i want I can also now apply the effects. Let's say I want to apply the extrusion. I can do that to the entire project. However, if I also then, let's go back to the beginning. Let's do this again. I can also right click and I can hit the word group. Now I can use this global tab and I can apply the global commands to the project, but I can no longer use the style command to add the extrusion like so because it's now grouped, so I can only work in the global settings. To use the animation title, simply use the drop-down menu, animated title. Now, this can be quite daunting and it's quite complex. Let's keep it really simple and just use the templates for now. To access the templates, use this arrow key here, opens up. You'll come up here to project templates. For some reason, if you did come here, and it most likely be in styles coming from the still, you may look like this. To go into the template projects, simply drop down, look for project templates, voila. Let's look at the folder lower thirds. We can simply move our mouse over any of these icons to preview exactly what it is that we're gonna get. Let's pick something simple like that. Double click and is now in your project. If you wish to change your name here, rather than doing it through here, we can go into the scene tab here and you'll see the same thing here, your name here. I can just simply change it there into grips and apply and voila. This is all fully automated. It's a lot to discuss for now. You may wish just to change the logo or the name and that's all you wish to do and then you can add it to your project. You can also go from animated title back into still mode and this will be done permanently like a still on your project. Let's go back into the animation title. If once you are happy with every all the text that you've changed, if every, Jesus, sometimes I fumble over my own words. If, you, if you're happy with everything, you just close the program. It will ask you to keep it, yes, and then you can save it to your project. It is now applied to your project, and if I press play, there it is. Voila. So obviously the duration of your clip also depends on how slow or how fast this plays the animation. You can also change the duration within the program itself, but that is a whole other tutorial. And for now, you're better off just shortening this to a shorter timeline or shorter intro, and then you'll get something like so. And there you go. So there you go, my friends. This is the complete beginner's guide to the new blue Titler Pro version 5. And as always, thanks for watching.